As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through, but it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Whatever you're doing is working wonders! Now a quick little pull should do the trick! Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. That magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. Easy does it. You really, really don't want to do that. Not a threat. Just an observation. Ten years of bad luck if you kill a wizard. Why take the risk? Much obliged. Besides, I suspect the real villain here is one we have in common. Back on the ship, you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? The insertee we speak of, this parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? I suppose few enough can. Not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer. And soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent! A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. 
It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Being strange. I told, I told you, you to, to go. go. There's death in your scent, but not in your words. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. Of course he will, and then we'll return home. He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. We were attacked, were cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell, it was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes, gnolls. No, I won't leave him. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Finding me an artifact to consume, which I assume you're pursuing with the appropriate urgency. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Just unhelpful. In that case, I shall have to seek my own salvation elsewhere. I'm sorry, I couldn't bring you. Here lies Connor, beloved husband, and a tasty little morsel to boot. What? What? You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! Come in. 
you feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. <laughs> You don't know that. He... he could still be in there. And I gotta try. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. I'll... I'll figure something out. Come on, love. Let's... Let's go. Perhaps using Ethel's wand wasn't the best idea. Uh, no turning back time now. Is the hag gone? God, tell me she's gone. Oh, please. May she burn in the nine hells. The hag. There's never been a more vile creature. The things she did to me. I was a fool. I wanted to know my fate. I had a choice between two lives, and I was frightened of choosing wrong. I asked the hag to help me see what the future would hold. Got what I wished for, too. I saw my future self. A corpse, rotten with maggots. And everyone around me dead. Putrid and dead. Boring story. Stay or go. Marriage and kids, or a life of novelty. I lost my best years rather than just choose. Yes. I will. Thank you. <laughs> 